everyone, welcome to Foresights TV with me, Anjali. The recent reports regarding the rise in the ocean surface temperatures have been a matter of great and grave concern to all of us, as this would mean the planet is engulfed by a mire of phenomena, leading it away from the normal course by a considerable margin, inviting such a catastrophic features utterly against the human welfare. Here's a special story from Foresight TV. The oceans have hit their hottest ever recorded temperature as they soak up warmth from climate change with dire implications for our planet's health. The average daily global sea surface temperature beat a 2016 record this week according to the EU's climate change service Copernicus. It reached 20.96 Celsius, far above the average for this time of year. Oceans are a vital climate regulator, they soak up heat produce half earth's oxygen and drive weather patterns warmer waters have less ability to absorb carbon dioxide meaning more of that planet warming gas will stay in the atmosphere and it can also accelerate the melting of glaciers that flow into the ocean leading to more sea level rise hotter oceans and heat waves disturb marine species like fish and whales as they move in search of cooler waters upsetting the food chain Experts warn that fish stock could be affected and some predatory animals including sharks can become aggressive as they get confused in hotter temperatures. The water feels like a bath when you jump in says Dr. Catherine Lesneski who is monitoring a marine heat wave in the Gulf of Mexico for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. There is a widespread coral bleaching at shallow reefs in Florida and many corals have already died. We are putting oceans under more stress than we have done at any point in history says Dr Matt Frost from the Plymouth Marine Lab in the UK referring to the fact pollution and overfishing also change the oceans multiple line chart showing the global average sea surface temperature by year since 1979 the 2023 line has passed a previous record set in 2016 and is trending unseasonally upwards scientists are worried about the timing of this broken record Dr Samantha Burgess from the Copernicus Climate Change Service says March should be when the oceans globally are warmest not August. The fact that we have seen the record now makes me nervous about how much warmer the ocean may get between now and next March she says. It is sobering to see this change happening so quickly says Professor Mike Burrows who is monitoring impacts on Scottish sea shores when the Scottish Association for Marine Science Earth is uncharted waters as climate records tumble a really simple guide to climate change scientists are investigating why the oceans are so hot right now but say that climate change is making the seas warmer as they absorb most of the heating from greenhouse gas emissions The more we burn fossil fuels the more excess heat will be taken out by the ocean which means the longer it will take to stabilize them and get them back to where they were explains Dr Burgess The new average temperature record beats one set in 2016 when the naturally occurring climate fluctuation El Nino was in full swing and at its most powerful El Nino happens when warm water rises to the surface of the west coast of South America pushing up global temperatures Another El Nino has now started but scientists say it is still weak meaning ocean temperatures are expected to rise further above average in the coming months chart showing average seasonal sea surface temperatures compared with the average when temperatures are 0.5 celsius above or below the average they are considered to be el nino or la nino conditions may 2023 shows that el nino conditions are beginning the broken temperature record follows a series of marine heat waves this year including in the uk the north atlantic the mediterranean and the gulf of mexico the marine heat waves that we are seeing are happening in unusual locations conditions where we haven't expected them says professor burgess in june temperatures in uk waters were 3 celsius to 5 celsius higher than average according to the met office and the european space agency in florida sea surface temperatures hit 38.44 celsius last week comparable to the hot tub Normally temperatures should be between 23 degrees Celsius and 31 degrees Celsius according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Marine heat waves doubled in frequency between 1982 and 2016 and have become more intense and longer since the 1980s according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change that is IPCC. 
While air temperatures have seen some dramatic increases in recent years, the oceans take longer to heat up even though they have absorbed 90% of the Earth's warming from greenhouse gas emissions. But there are signs now that ocean temperatures may be catching up. One theory is a lot of the heat has been stored in ocean depths, which is now coming to the surface, possibly linked to El Nino, says Dr. Karina Wos Cookman at Mercata Ocean International. While scientists have known that the sea surface would continue to warm up because of greenhouse gas emissions, they are still investigating exactly why temperatures have surged so far above previous year. There are five categories ranging from no heat wave to severe. Strong heat waves can be seen in the Gulf of Mexico, North Atlantic and Mediterranean. The ongoing build-up of the El Nino phenomenon in the Pacific is also visible. It is already a high time for the stringent initiatives to be put into practice in leading to a scenario of renormalization of the global climate as we perceive the dangerous alarms proving disastrous for the planet and there should be a collective coincidence in reaching up to the standards set by the scientific community in perceiving the pristine purity of the life on this wonderful blue planet. Thank you for watching Foresights TV with me Anjali.